getting into the ministry really has been all life because I learned that ministry is your life. My family is my ministry. My ministry is obviously my ministry. When people think think ministry, they automatically think church or parachurch or something that has to do with being connected with a facility. Um, but no, everybody um, who is a believer is in ministry and they're ministering to someone. And hopefully they're doing it in a positive way. And so I learned that. Uh, but my, you know, my dad and mom just told me, don't compartmentalize your ministry like that. Live for the Lord, and that'll show itself in different ways. Being able to do it with my dad and mom is no other place I'd rather be. You no, know, I'm just so thankful that God allowed them to be my my parents. I didn't get to choose that. But God chose that. Yeah. Just got a text from my mom, just kind of an example. Um, she knows that I'm speaking tonight and headed there right now. And then she said, stand in your own shoes, be yourself, you know, and, uh, and everything will be just fine. So that's, that's the type of stuff I'm talking about. I found out Monday that I'm supposed to be speaking at Wednesday night service on Wednesday. Okay, it's all right, I'll be there. Maybe I can think about something, you know, that I've, that I've maybe done before or something that I've already been thinking through. Nope. They just sent me a specific passage. Now we got a roll, but you know what? It, it just, you know, got to rely on the spirit totally. Read through it, understand it as much as possible, prayed about it, and now we're about to go, about to go give it. So it's Wednesday night service. We're gonna hang out. We're gonna go do ministry and really encourage people with with what God is is encouraging. How God is encouraging me through His Word. So. Tonight, uh, my, my, my baby boy, Jonathan, is going to come and he's going to take us, uh, finish us up in chapter three of Ecclesiastes. So come on, now, I'm going to be sitting on the front row. So if you mess up, I'm going to come get the mic. All right, now here you go. I know that I've said eternity in your heart, but it's not time for that. I need you to learn to see what you already have and enjoy what you already have while you wait for me to fill you more in other places. Those who wait on the Lord will renew their strength, not those who don't. Here is this gift, but you have to see it, enjoy it. Verse 14 says, I know that everything God does will remain forever. There is nothing to add to it and nothing to take from it. It just is what it is. For God has so worked that men should fear him. Where does fulfillment come from? God. He's the one who set eternity in your heart. And he's saying, I want you not to aspire to things because all you're going to do is climb the ladder of success and get to the top and realize the whole time it was leaning on the wrong wall. It's about finding me. Because when you find me, you find purpose. When you find me, you find fulfillment. We just got finished. I just got finished uh, giving the word in Ecclesiastes 3. 10 through 22. And I had the monkey on my back a little bit, but God always comes through because it's his word. It belongs to him. It's good to be on the other side of it. It's good to communicate that message. And really, in that message, Solomon just lets you know how life is. He, he tells you justice is replaced by wickedness. Righteousness is replaced by wickedness. He lets you know that you and the beast alike have the same end. You know, he says, this is my conclusion, that you need to enjoy your life. This is your lot. This is what you have the opportunity that God has given us a gift. A lot of us don't understand that you can get a gift and never experience it because it's your job to open it. And the gift is that you enjoy your activities, that you enjoy your life. Don't just look at the negativity. He says, but you have to see what is good to look at the positive. This is the way it is. Life is hard. It's tough. There are challenges. There are marital challenges, family challenges. There are all these challenges. If it's going to be that way, how about we find a way to enjoy it? So it's, it's time for us to go play. It's time for us to enjoy ourselves and look at the good things instead of always focusing on the way it will always be. So go play.